Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys. So we're, we're back again in our loft and um, over the past few weeks we've been on a bit of a journey, haven't we, around the world? A little bit, yeah. With perfumery. Um, yeah. And there's a, a wonderful a wonderful perfumer called Prin Lomros that we've been exploring um, and he's been kind enough to send us some more things which we have to say like across the board we've both loved uh, but there's some new things I've not smelt so yeah this, so we've, this is a first. we've talked about a few of his fragrances uh, from uh, Prin Parfums yeah so we talked about um, Axum which is this incredible and also quite expensive goat fragrance nah. and, no, and, there's, uh, and there's some uh, uh, other um, so in the end I end up I went out and bought Tuscan leather and you went out and bought Turkish more. leather Turkish leather yeah. not Tuscan leather that's a bit Freudian um, and um, yeah we really really enjoyed those fragrances yeah they're so, fantastic really. but now we're looking at two other houses um, but they are the same perfumer they are they're Prin uh, Lomros so he's um, the two houses are Strangers Parfumery and the other one is um, Prisana. We're going to start, I think we're going to start with Strangers. Now I should say of these um, two houses, they both sell their fragrances in 30ml bottles. They're quite different prices. The first one, yeah. Strangers, they're all $70, um, which is about £53. Very reasonable. Um, quite, yeah, very reasonable. Um, Prisana are $180 for 30 mil, which is about £135. So that's quite um, a big difference. Yeah. And given that um, the Pring Parfums one, they are uh, 50 mil for £140. So they, they actually sit kind of in between these two. Yeah. Kind of in quite yeah. So I guess you're, you're, we're expecting... There you know, might be some differences different of approach. approach. Um, yeah. Or accessibility, differences of accessibility, maybe. Yeah, we'll yeah. I, I think uh, actually you're absolutely right. Anyway, let, let's stop talking about them and let's start looking at the strangers line uh, with one of their most popular fragrances. This is cigar rum. So excited! Um, so you've not smelled this at all. So this is um, supposed. This is inspired by smoking a cigar whilst drinking dark rum somewhere. Over the Caribbean. I mean, atmosphere. that alone sounds awful, doesn't it? I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't. Who wants to do um, that? I think of all of these six fragrances, I found this one the immediately easiest to wear and immediately pleasing. And you just you really wow. get exactly what what it says in the tin. You get a sweet, warm, <sighs> rich, comforting but yet luxurious yeah. um, tobacco. You get a lot of dark booze. The other thing I get is I get quite, um, a, lot, I get <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of it. stewed fruit with that as well. This actually is so funny you say that because um, another fragrance which we've got here, Marcello, mm. has that same DNA. There's this boozy cognac infused. Yeah. So that, that one's by Prin Parfum. Prune. That's so Prin Parfum. It's the same, company, yeah. same perfumer but different company. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good. I mean that's... Um, if you could find the most rich, Here's one again. the richest booze-laden pipe tobacco, oh, it's, a, it's that. And that's the sweetness of a yeah, sort of cherry I mean, menthol or anything like that. It's, it's savory. You know, the combination of, 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 of booze and tobacco of itself is not the most original com no. combination. You know, it did win us the war. Yeah, um, sort of. Yeah. Ch <laughs> Churchill. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, but th this somehow feel, feels. Um, original and what it impresses me about this is there in a way there is a lot of sweetness the tobacco is quite sweet there's also sweet stewed fruit mm, mm. Um, and I tested this I, I wore this every few weeks I've worn this quite quite a lot actually um, and I was it, I kept thinking this is going to go too sweet it's going to go too sweet and it, do, and it doesn't and I, I and I couldn't work out what what steered it away from that um, and eventually I looked in the note list and there's something which, I've got to be honest, I didn't smell at all, but there is seaweed in it. Really? And wow. I, and I wonder if it was that which stopped it tipping over the edge to becoming too sweet. Well, this is what I'm getting, that's why I made that comment just a little bit ago, yeah. that, that I'm not getting an overly, I'm not getting like an overly sweet thing that you often get with these tobacco booze things. There's often... Yeah, it's not pure malt or something like yeah. that, which is, it's not, this is not sickly There's a cloying all. sweetness to those, but this is, it's like an inv it's like a little invitation to a little sweet smoke or something. Yeah, I mean, it basically, it, it smells much higher, much, much higher quality, yeah. much higher quality than something like that. It also, I have to say, um, you know, tobacco vanille, those guys, eat your heart out because yeah. <laughs> this this thing is is far more photorealistic yeah. of, a, of a 
spicy, fruity tobacco. Oh, it's so beautiful, really, really elegant. I get a hint of some kind of florals in there as well. Just, just delicate little hints. It's not, uh, not, it's not an overly ripe floral, is it? It's something no, no, quite no, earthy. Yeah. But um, I mean, I, a little handful of soil there as well, a little patchouli. So I think at the death. moment, I looked on the website recently. This is actually sold out at the moment. I'm sure they'll be getting more of this. Um, Damn it! I can understand why this is the most popular from, from the house of America. I think and that's so beautiful. I let's say. look at the next one. This one is called Ember. Um, I've got to say, I was quite surprised. I'll spray it and let you, and then let you have a go. I, I wore this a few times, and I didn't read about it or read any of the notes when I first sprayed it. And I, I saw the title Ember, and I thought, burning embers, I'm going to get some dry, smoky, incensey, woody. Mm. But that's, I mean, you, you spray it because you smell it, because that's not what I get at all. Um, the description is uh, oh. intense, earthy aroma and smoky amber. Um, but it's not, it's not inspired by burning embers. It is inspired by a traditional Indian shamamatal amber, which is a, an Indian attar. Yeah. And I get this, <laughs> it's quite a big fragrance actually. And it's very, um, it's very tightly knit as well. It's big, but it's actually- It's quite complex actually. It's I, quite I a feel like thing. This is it's quite, take time. But it's, Towards the end of it, I got this slightly warm, sweet, sticky amber, but at the start, I get quite a lot of florals in there. I get some jasmine, I get kind of maybe a hint of rose, which is kind yeah. of spiced in, as you expect from that kind of traditional attar, Indian attar smell. I'm getting a Lapsang Sushong tea kind of aspect tea, as well. Yeah, yeah. There's something, but I'll tell you something, mm. that thing I think is beautiful and mm. it's very, um, it's very tightly packed. You can tell there's actually quite a lot going on in there, mm. and it's not all coming to my nose at once. No, my really nose is actually shutting down a little bit to it, and mm. it unfolds it's quite a skin scent towards the wear, end. I to be worn on skin. I, mean. it's, I found it quite big at the beginning; it projected quite a lot. But towards the end, I felt it be then became this really beautiful, rich, earthy amber, which kind of sat quite closely. But at the beginning, it's quite a big like. But it's. It's at the beginning because I think because of these these florals and the spice, it's not very warming. But I sense that the amber underneath this yeah. is probably a very warming, comforting sort yeah. of amber. As I said, but I at was first. It's quite it's quite punchy. It's not what I expected from from the name. Ember. I would expect something like City on Fire. Yeah, but it's not. That, it's not. That, it's not yeah. that at all. It's but bloody good. I think I prefer that a little bit to the cigar. I have to say. It's certainly. Uh, more in my sort of it, Yeah, I think it's a bit more interesting, yeah. a little bit less obvious. But speaking of less obvious and a bit more interesting, this this, this is it. the this? third one is my favourite one. Um, it's called uh, Fumapu, uh, which translates as smoke my skin. And so, uh, Prin Lamros, before we went into perfumery, um, studied film. And I think he uh, went to not into watching Netflix things, on the weekend sort of way. No, really a little like bit more seriously and yeah. actually kind of he did, did it, a, a the, the real thing. Um, so this is in, inspired by um, the famous new wave film Le Weekend by Jean-Luc Godard. And I haven't actually seen the film, but apparently there's a famous traffic scene. Anyway, this is inspired by the car journey from the streets of Paris with the smell of car seats, of leather, of tyres, especially of gasoline, mm. of tarmac, um, but then taking you outside of Paris to the countryside, so there's a the smell of trees and wood. Uh, I'm going to let you smell Beautiful it. Beautiful concept. Um, the one thing I would say, more than all of the three, this one really transformed all the way through. Tell me what you think. Oh, that's so interesting. That's it's, so interesting. And, I, I, and I'll say, the other thing I said to Joe wow. is, on first smell, it's almost a bit of an anti-perfume. <laughs> this is like walking blindfold get, into a room and just, that's the smell of the room you're in. Yeah, but it's, it's interesting. I get this, it's hard I, to smell. In, without putting this to my nose, I'm getting this kind of petrol. I also get kind of glue. Or, or I get all, and then rubber. I feel like there's like rubber tires or rubber, not even rubber. It doesn't smell like tires. It's more like a rubber trim. Do you know what I'm getting? Which is so bizarre. Go on. And this will sound gross, unless you like me, you love the smell. I'm getting like a slight Dettol thing, like just that that cleanliness that you get from Dettol. 
Yeah, possibly. Well, I get. I mean, I get fresh, really oh. brand new leather seats. So this is not old um, age no, no, leather. No. This is brand new leather seats. It's like varnished, freshly varnished. Yeah. I say it starts off. Aspect. It's almost. Bloody hell, say, it's, it's like very, an, it's like an anti perfume. But what is really interesting about it is as it develops, and especially at the very end, all of these top notes, pretty much all of them are gone. And what I get is this very, very beautiful, very elegant, quite classic vetiver, which you can't. I can't smell any at the beginning. But that's really what I got. And I, I almost had to. Uh, I tested it for a few days, and I had to kind of double check myself because. What, what I smelled at the beginning was so different from what was at the end. I think a really that interesting That is one fragrance. of the most intriguing openings to a fragrance I think I've it's ever smelled. Yeah, I like have no idea where that's going to go at all. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue it about It doesn't smell like a perfume. <laughs> if I put that on and you said, is this a leather, is this an amber, is this a green fougere? It's, it's none of those things. It is, it, yeah, it's a slight car aspect, but yeah. I can't quite put my finger on it. Petrol, maybe, for me, that's like that Dettol clean thing. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting, I mean, I say that all, but it could be any sort of white spirit yeah, it's, it's based really, thing. I mean, it's difficult because maybe so a lot of these things we're saying don't, you wouldn't think they smell very nice. <laughs> oh no, a lovely bit of Dettol in the bath is very nice. Beautiful. If anyway, you're a dirty let's, like me. so those were the fragrances from Strangers. We are now Fantastic. moving on to the house of Prasanna. So as I've said, these are more expensive. These are $180 as opposed to $70, so they are more than twice the price. Um, we should point out that these are not the bottles yeah, so that this come is, in. He's, he sent us these, these tester bottles. Which I actually do like, I um, uh, To give us a try. So these are more expensive, so you, yes. you, expect, um, you, you expect them to smell better. Or well, different, yeah, like uh, a different... A different journey for your nose to go on. So this this is uh, Nimitta from the house of Prasanna, um, and so this is uh, he describes this as a nostalgic uh, masculine from um, uh, for men who love fragrances of the 80s, 90s, and jazz. Which is uh, us. It's also inspired by uh, Haruki Murakami's short story about Thailand. Um, I'm going to put this on my skin Give because it I've um, worn this for about a week. And I, tried it we, and we, I, 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 I had this for a week and I tried to test it for a week. Then I gave it to Joe and tested it for a week. And I've got to say, it smells absolutely it's, sensational. It's um, really stunning, isn't it? Oh, it's really. If you look at the notes list on the website, it's absolutely vast. There's a huge list of animalics. There's so much going on. Should we show them the colour? Yeah, and really? also look at the, that. The colour is this kind of dark. It's rich. really dark and beautiful. Almost <sighs> something you'd want to drink. And, and, and Joe was just saying to me, like he's been kind of testing these fragrances, and he was saying this got a huge number of compliments, despite the fact Loads, that yeah. I, it's it's not an obviously it's crowd pleaser. I mean, I just, what I get is one of the most, you know, not one of the most, is the most extraordinary aldehyde note a I've, I've ever smelled. Huge smart. aldehyde, and that yeah. includes. Picure Vodama by Zerjov, which yeah. costs about like, eight billion pounds. Um, <laughs> it's very expensive, which is a really beautiful aldehyde um, fragrance. This is just incredible, and it just when you get aldehydes, it's difficult to describe what it smells like. It just smells like the f <sighs> this like the freshest day, like yeah. like a completely clear sky, not a hot day, kind of almost like a cool day with the sky just opening up. And this combines combines with. Incense, but the incense is never burnt or acrid. It's no. somehow slightly sweet, but combines with it. It's the myrrh. It's the myrrh aspect of a sort of church incense oh, myrrh combination. God. And there, there are sweet, resonance. warm alum, animalics behind it. This is just. It's a huge no list, actually. This one. It's absolutely vast. But you know, they, <laughs> they're so seamless. They're, they're, they're just in, so. In a way, what I'm not fragrance. getting is I'm not getting a big cacophony of things. No, no. In a way, this smells very simple. It's, it, I, it's almost like you're just smelling one Wonderful. accord. One, all this aldehydes, which has got some effects going on from incense and animalics. But it's just incredible. And also, and it's glowing as well. Again, I've said this with some things. It's, it's one of these perfumes it's that really shiny. radiates like this. And um, I mean, the it has a pulse of its own. I found was absolutely incredible. Oh. I mean, I found you know way all over day. like twelve hours. I was still smelling a very strong, yeah. uh, really. I'm really. Uh, <laughs> it actually has, has gone to my head a little bit. Yeah. It, it really. It, and I had to it has keep such a throw on it. it. Huge just, throw. I mean, this is not oh. your your everyday run of the mill fragrance. No. 
Well, I, and who would want it to be? <laughs> yeah. you know, it's right. Beautiful. Next, uh, from the same house of Prasanna, we have La Cir uh, uh, Bleu, uh, the, the, the Blue Circus. This is inspired by a painting of the same name uh, by Marc Chagall. So, Marc Chagall was a, 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 a French. Um, uh, uh, French Russian painter. I'll, I'll, I'll try and put the painting up here. Um, and so this is supposed to be a combination of two uh, things. It's supposed to be a combination of where have I written it down? a circus in Russia uh, in the winter. So leather and herbs. Yeah. So it's, it's your kind of Russian leather fragrance, and combined with that, with a uh, All that French um, fougere smell. And again, the notes list of this is big. This is a really very, very herbaceous, warm, rich, dark leather. So beautiful. And in a way, it's weird. I, for me, this makes me think more of an 80s fougere than the other one. Yeah, this has. This is more. Um, this is more the classical oh, lavender God, dominant so opening, isn't rich. it? It's so rich, and I feel like there's oak moss in there. I mean, hands down, that's a masterpiece. It's a sensation. Really. That's wonderful. And, and the, again, that's and I'm so thinking bold. of eighty fake. I'm thinking of something like Antaeus. This is Antaeus yeah. times a thousand yeah. percent in terms of class and elegance and refinement. If you could take your, if you could take your big, um, oh. your big sort of classical thing like Caron from back in the day. Mm. If you ramped up the vanilla, if you ramped up the lavender. Threw in the mm. threw in a sort of bouquet of herbs that yep. Pierre Kaufman would be jealous of. You're starting to approach a tenth of what that is right there. I would say. I mean, I've, I've got to be completely honest. Can that, I try that on skin. Um, yeah, yeah, try that on skin. I, for for my taste, now I smell them both by side. I I I find Nimeter much more original of the two from Prasanna. These these are the two he's marketed um, as masculine. I found I find Nimeter. More original, uh, more compelling, and more beautiful. It's not to say I, I don't like the Cirque Bleu, but if I was going to buy one, despite the fact I've got yeah. lots of incense fragrances, I would buy Nimeta. Right now to our final of the line. Um, it is called Aspera. So Aspera is um, made using traditional Thai perfumery techniques with flowers from Thailand and Southern Asia, and it's inspired by a character in mythology, in Thai mythology, who was seduced women. Now, yeah. I've got to be honest about this fragrance, and maybe the way I approach uh, fragrance in general is that often, if I see there are some notes this I look at, and I think I probably won't try that one, or, or I, I will try that one last. It's not, it's not quite for me. I'm not massively into white florals. Yeah, I'll, I'll smell it, but. It's, it's not, it's not my favourite It doesn't thing. rock your boat or float your boat, does this? Um, <laughs> but I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> a, a, out of these six fragrances, this is by a fair way my favourite and I've really not smelled... Bloody hell. Yeah. I mean, a lot of men would say, oh, I don't like white flowers, they smell like old women. This... Get out. This is just extraordinary. When I, when I, I remember the first time I tested this, I tested this, um, I kept saying to my wife, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, because it's just, even, this is this more is of a fragrance just to sit at home in a dark room and just smell yourself all yeah. day, because it's so incredible. There's so much white for all. I mean, there's gardenia, there's jasmine, That's there's beautiful. champaca, the, the, I mean, there's, there's lily, there's everything going on, but you've not in perfumery, they smell so vivid, they smell so lush. You can almost yeah. feel like you're biting into the petals. They are so It's juicy. right there in your face, isn't and it? And it really, I mean, I guess it's supposed to feel like walking through a garden at night. But, uh, you know, that's the other thing. It doesn't, perhaps in it, somehow it doesn't feel like a French polite garden. It's not a curated garden. It's a wild garden. It's yeah. almost a jungle. It's just overwhelming. And these, I guess what I don't like about white florals is sometimes they're too indolic. Or, mm. two time, or sometimes they're too sweet. Whereas for me, this is perfectly balanced by it's the, right in the, the two yeah. things. It's very indolic, it's very sweet. Oh, it's just if incredible. You, if you think that, that as, a, as a man, certainly, if you think that's not something oh, you could wear, so amazing, I nice. think you have no beauty in your soul at all. Because yeah. that, is, that if, is beauty. If you like fine. smell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you love to smell stuff, I mean, that's I mean, beautiful. Who doesn't like to be in a garden yeah. and just be overwhelmed by nature? That's nature, and it doesn't, know, regardless I, I, of what's I think there are things, when, when they are this um, high quality, it completely transcends any notion of, of masculine, feminine, formal, Absolutely. informal, yeah. 
it's just amazing. Um, so, <laughs> and you know, we we need to be brave because, this is amazing. like, this we've is both amazing. we've both sort of grown up with perfume, Aspera. thinking we like what we like, and that's it. And actually, unless you unless you smell stuff and try it, mm. like I smelled that from the bottle, and I thought, mm. oh yeah, that's not for me. But then spray it on my hand, yeah, and just having a few hours with it. My mind was totally transformed. Of, I mean, of, it of, just of lives these, and breathes. Of these the six skin. fragrances, I mean, this. That, so these, just a reminder that these uh, Brissana, they are 180 dollars for 30 mils, so they're not cheap. But of these six fragrances, if I were going to buy one, it would be Aspro, just because I've never smelt anything quite like it. Yeah. I really, really loved Nimita. It's absolutely incredible. And were it not for Aspro, I would buy that. I also, I really. I can see why cigar rum is incredibly popular. Really, it's an absolutely sensational scent. Yeah. Uh, really, really, really beautiful. I also found Fume My Pet really, really interesting, really original, really great. I think they're a great, they're a great selection. And um, if, you know, if money was no object, you'd buy them all, wouldn't you, and wear them? That'd be the obvious choice, yeah. I've, for me, I have to say, if it were to come down to one, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And Nimitar as well. I mean, Nimitar is... Was Amazing! Stonking. Like it really is. But there are there are things in our in our sort of territory that yeah. are in the ballpark mm. of that. Whereas this, I have nothing like this, yeah. and I think I oh, think it's time God. for me to it's break down my slight white floor yeah. fear as well, like you have, because that's just beautiful. And it's just great just to sit in a dark room, turn the lights off, and just cry and smell that, and then you be. Really or happy. Tuesday night. Or yeah, or, or, you know, or yeah. Tuesday <laughs> central in the morning. Yeah. Um, but I mean. I mean, great, great work here from a, a yeah, master. A real, bold. a real range. I mean, I've got to say, what vision he has. These, these two fragrances are about as far away as, as any two fragrances can be. So go on the um, at the moment, as far as I know, especially from the UK. I think the only way to get them is to go directly via the websites and they do mm. sample packs. So go and uh, test the samples. Try them. Like, don't Please go try. and spend one hundred and eighty dollars based on our recommendation. Go and try do not blind yeah. buy. Yeah, go, go and buy the, go and buy the samples. Blind, you you anyway, beautiful stuff. Until next time, happy, happy smelling! smelling.